Microsoft has just released Fera 7 billion, entering the increasingly saturated field of computer use agents with a compact 7 billion parameter model designed to automate web tasks. This was just announced and Microsoft has now joined competitors like OpenAI's Computer Use Preview and also UITAR 1.7 billion and a lot of other models which we already have covered on the channel. What these models are trying to do is to interact with computers like humans too. Where Microsoft is trying to distinguish Fera 7 billion is its small size combined with competitive performance if you go through various benchmarks and other information which they have shared. But again, the model doesn't look too different from what is being already done. But the good thing is that it is available as an open weight release under MIT license and we are going to install it and I will show you a quick demo. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. <clears throat> Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Please also follow me on X if you are looking for AI updates regularly. So for this I am going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM should be enough for this model. I am going to create a virtual environment with Conda. And if you are looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. And let's wait for this to get created. And that is done. Next up, I'm just going to git clone the repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description. And now let me install all the prerequisites. This is going to take a few minutes. And while that happens, let's talk a bit more around this model and what exactly is happening under the hood. So you see that the training methodology which they have shared, especially um, I would say in this diagram, this tells you a very interesting story. This tackles the bottleneck of scarce high quality computer interaction data. So you can see that this is a three-stage data generation workflow. First, we have task proposal that creates diverse synthetic tasks seeded from categorized public URLs like generating movie booking tasks from cinema websites. And then the task solving deploys the Magentic One multi-agent framework where an orchestrator agent plans and directs a web server agent to execute browser actions with a user simulator handling multi-turn interactions and then we have task verification that uses three specialized verifier agents alignment rubric and multimodal to filter out unsuccessful trajectories before training so the thing is that you would have to integrate it with this magentic ui which we already have covered on the channel in order to extract the proper value out of this model which in my opinion makes it a bit harder to implement Especially if you go through this blog post, there are a lot of things you would need to check out. And this reminds me something like Quen's web agents where you would have to integrate a lot of components to get anything meaningful. I think this is where um, people would just, I think, avoid using it because there is a lot of stuff which comes out of the box, especially with, as I said, UITARs and OpenAI. And there are various others too which you can use out of the box. Um, this does do a few extra things, but again, if your task is to just computer use, I think Microsoft should have uh, stuck to that instead of just throwing a lot of things in one go for all the practical purposes. Now, for instance, if you look here, this is the operational loop which I was talking about. Now the model receives user queries and context like recent screenshots and action history, then it reasons about the next action and then it executes in the browser environment and captures the new state, which is um, you know happening after you integrate it with all that magentic UI. Okay, let's go back to our terminal and see what is happening. And everything is installed. Now for the headless browser support, let's install Playwright. And that should be done in a sec. And everything is now installed.
Next up, we would need to log into Hugging Face in order to download the model. If you get this error, it means that you would just need to install um, Hugging Face library, which is a simple pip command, and you can simply log in it like this and install it. That should be done in a Jiffy and then do hf auth login and i am already logged in otherwise it is going to ask you the read token from hugging face just go to your profile and get your free read token once that's done all you need to do is to run this command from the root of the repo and it is going to download the model in the local checkpoints directory and you can see that the model is being downloaded so let's wait And the model has been downloaded next up you can serve it locally with vllm they also have provided the script and i'm just getting the model from the local directory putting it on my one gpu if you have multiple gpus just to for example for two gpus you will say zero comma one and the server is now started locally the vllm one now let me show you how you can use this model for the inference I will let this terminal running and I will open another terminal. They have also provided the script for inference. So for instance, if I ask it, how many pages does Wikipedia have? And then I am accessing it on my local host at, at port 5000 where we are running that VLLM. And then the starting point is Bing. So let me go back to terminal and run it. So I'm just going to run it from the root of the repo. And there you go. So it has identified that Wikipedia has this many pages and then it is doing the tool call with the computer use and it has closed the headless browser. You can also run it with UI with the Magentic um, UI one, but I think Microsoft has come up, needs to come up with a way to make it easier to deal with. And if we quickly check the VRAM consumption, it is close to 24 gig of VRAM, which it is consuming. And that is not bad for a 7 billion parameter model these days. I think that is pretty efficient as far as that VRAM consumption is concerned. They have also shared a lot of other data around the training and other tidbits of the model, which is quite welcoming from a lab like Microsoft. For instance, this was trained on around 145,000 trajectories comprising 1 million steps and it also has distilled the complexity of multi-agent systems into a model that maintains transparency through logged auditable actions and incorporates safety measures like recognizing critical points that require user consent before irreversible actions and that is quite paramount for uh, sensitive tasks especially in computer use. So all in all, I won't say that it's a bad effort. I think it's a good effort. I think just that Microsoft needs to make it more self-sustained and single deployable model so that everything which they have shown here should be implemented easily. That's it. Let me know what you think about this new model from Microsoft. Please like and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. And please follow me on X if you um, want to have some regular AI updates without fluff. Thank you for all the support.